I want to get married. <laughs> I'm tired of flying. I love you, and I do want to marry you today, but there is no time. You have a piece of paper. For what? I want to be with you forever, and you want to be with me forever. In order to do that, we need to make vows, a commitment, a contract. In some ways, I think the Nikai is a not a flawed document. It is a great document. You can use it to our advantage. And that, without a legal document, how do you even prove that you're married? Like, according to who have you been married? I think we need to stop making those associations. Like, oh, it's a religious thing. It's a legal thing. You should treat it. No one really seems to think it's a big deal that we should prepare for the future when it comes to uh, marriages. Though marriage is all about living your life as normal for the rest of your life. So unless you have some planning for the future in your wedding document, then like, you know, I think it's a very realistic, practical way to start a life and a lot of times people don't want to address some of these key issues. It can cause a lot of conflict. But a marriage is then the place for two people to clearly state what their expectations are. You know, certain things you stand your ground on, that this is who I am, and this is not going to change. And certain things you give in to, and it's the same with the guy. You know, certain things he's like, no, this is who I am. Mar more ma marriage material, which means that, which means what exactly? And I, I kind of wish people would tell us like what it is exactly they want. He should be a good dancer. He should know how to cook. He should know how to dress. He should know how to speak in English. But I think uh, the main thing is that most people want to find uh, somebody who is going to enter into their lives with at least conflict as possible. What do we want to promise each other? That you love me, even when you hate me. To love each other, even when we hate each other. No running. Ever. Nobody walks out, no matter what happens. No running. What else? That we'll take care of each other even when we're old and smelly and senile. And if I get Alzheimer's, and forget you. I will remind you who I am every day. To take care when old, senile, smelly. This is forever. Sign. This is our wedding. A post it? Mm hmm. Well, if you sign it. Our attitudes, especially in private countries and, and also in Muslim countries, that we think that we own. We do not own wife and wife does not own husband. This should be very clear. They are partners, they are contract holders, they are with each other to, uh, to honor each other and to respect each other. And to, there's no such thing, and there's no go and fight. They are balanced, they are equally. Streets are as his property. Now, this is the essence of Islam also and other divine religions that you will not own anything. There is nothing you want. I would hope, you know, men would want women in their lives who, who can have all their rights um, and be equal partners with them in a marriage because that is the true spirit of a marriage, right? Is the, is the equality between the sexes and that the relationship should reflect that equality. Um, and that the responsibilities and duties may be separated according to the traditional gender norms or according to unconventional gender norms. But ultimately, marriage is a partnership between two equals. So if a woman is affected, then of course the man is affected.